The Death of the West, How Dying Populations and Immigrant Invasions Imperil Our Culture and Civilization is a 2001 book by paleoconservative commentator Patrick J. Buchanan, in which the author argues that Western culture is dying and will soon be imperiled. Western cultures have lower than replacement birth rates while populations in Africa, Asia, and Latin America are exploding. Summary Buchanan argues that the United States will be a third world nation by the year 2050. He uses United Nations population statistics to analyze the recent trends in global populations, especially major declines in European nations and major increases in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Buchanan argues that the United States has a nation within a nation already. The population of 30 million foreign born, of which 11 million are illegal aliens, is larger than the entire population of Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. Buchanan argues that counterculture of the 1960s has become the dominant culture, which aims to rewrite American history and dismantle its heritage. He says, a new generation has now grown up for whom the cultural revolution is not a revolution at all, but the culture they were born into and have known all their lives. He also argues that the death of the Christian faith is the primary cause of low birth rates, hopelessness, and political utopianism. He cites examples of anti-Christian sentiments such as the negative reactions to Catholic films and the triumphant attitude of secularism. He says, Western man has decided he can disobey God without consequence and become his own God. And at the same time, the new hedonism seems unable to give people a reason to go on living. Reception John Adarayan praised the book. To avert catastrophe, Buchanan rightly calls for repudiating the left's ideology of national suicide. But he offers valuable specifics too. It may be too late for Europe to exit the highway, but America still can. Depopulation being the worst problem, we must encourage American women to have children, with pro-family tax relief such as raising the federal tax credit for each child, giving employers tax incentives to pay parents higher wages, and so on. Buchanan concedes that it may be too late to save the West, but closes by affirming that America is a beautiful country. And that is why we must never stop trying to take her back. That call to undaunted perseverance is the right parting note. Kirkus Reviews panned the book. The review called it aimless, embarrassing rantings and also remarked that it'll attests to the moral health of this nation more than the fact that it's made a mockery of Buchanan's presidential ambitions time and again. The review particularly criticized Buchanan's claim that had it not been for the West, African rulers would still be trafficking in the flesh of their kinsmen as an example of dishonest historical revisionism. Jonah Goldberg of the National Review First, let me say I both admire and dislike Buchanan's writing for the same reason, he brilliantly manages to do with one language what Yasser Arafat does with two. He offers red meat to the extremists while at the same giving himself the wiggle room to deny he said anything controversial in the first place. This is no mean feat. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.